Poland's defense minister announced Wednesday that the country will buy 250 M1A2 Abrams SEPV-3 tanks from the US to counter Russian military capabilities, confirming previous reports of a planned acquisition. The purchase is a pretty remarkable turnaround of events, considering the US originally designed the M1 tank to fight Soviet and Polish forces on the battlefields of Western Europe. Before starting the video, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. The M1 Abrams main battle tank, a clean sheet design equipped with a 105mm main gun, Chobum composite armor and gas turbine engine, debuted in 1981 as the most advanced tank of its kind. So we are ordering the most modern tanks, tanks available in the best equipped version, tanks that are combat proven, tanks which were constructed to counter the most modern Russian T-14 Armada tanks. This new version of the classic M1 tank is really, really heavy. Too heavy for the trucks and recovery and bridging vehicles that are supposed to support it, according to the Pentagon's head of testing. Weight growth limits the tank's tactical transportability. The Office of the Director, Operational Test and Evaluation, or DOT&E, warned in a January report. The Abrams platform is by no means young. The first M1 Abrams entered service with the United States Army in 1980, though it has steadily been upgraded since its introduction. The Abrams made its combat debut during the 1991 Gulf War. During that conflict, the Abrams more than proved its worth when pitted against Iraq's old Soviet-era T-55 and T-62 tanks, as well as the much more modern and substantially more capable T-72 tank. It has been rumored that something like this acquisition is possible. Now it's more than just that. Details are being worked out, although a final decision has not yet been taken, one of the sources said. Asked about the potential tank acquisition and its status, a spokesperson for the Polish Defense Ministry told Defense News that, as part of the ongoing analyses related to the operational needs, we've identified the necessity to provide Polish armored military units with modern tanks that would comply with the requirements of the modern battlefield. We are currently performing analytical conceptual work with the aim to define the possibilities of securing these capacities based on the available technical solutions that are proposed to Poland by potential suppliers, the spokesperson said. Wizola is a district of Poland's capital Warsaw and is home to the 1st Warsaw Armored Brigade. The brigade is equipped with the Leopard 2A4 and Leopard 2A5 tanks, which are currently the most modern tracked vehicles operated by the Polish Land Forces. Blazik said once the US tanks are delivered to the Polish military, they will be deployed to the country's eastern area. These tanks will be in the first line of defense, of course, if there will be such a need, the minister said. The tank has outlived several efforts to replace it, gaining upgrades like a larger, more powerful 120mm gun, a layer of depleted uranium armor, a digital command and control system, and a separate 100 killer thermal imaging viewer for the tank commander. The M1A2 is the latest version of a tank that first entered US service way back in 1980. In its earliest version, the four-person M1 packed a 105mm main gun and weighed 60 tons. Later versions added better armor and replaced the 105mm gun with a 120mm model. The tank got heavier. The SCP V3 is the heaviest of all, with its new features including tougher armor, new electronics, and a better auxiliary power unit. The V3 tips the scales at nearly 74 tons. Add extra bolt on armor, a rocket defeating active protection system, and a mine rotor, and the poor tank swells to a staggering 92 tons. The Abrams lopsided kill ratio against Iraqi armor, no Abrams was lost due to direct enemy fire, was thanks to the large 120mm main gun as well as the depleted uranium armor piercing ammunition American tanks could fire. Not only could American Abrams engage enemy armor from outside the Iraqis' maximum engagement distance, but the American DU ammunition was arguably the most potent armor-piercing ammunition in existence at that time. Although that conflict occurred 30 years ago, the Abrams has nonetheless remained battlefield relevant thanks to numerous upgrades that steadily incorporated platform improvements to the tank's armor package in particular. Explosive reactive armor, essential blocks of outward-facing explosive that destroy incoming projectiles have been incorporated onto the platform, greatly increasing crew protection. The Polish armed forces are reportedly interested in acquiring up to 250 tanks in the M1A2 SEPV3 variant and a further dozen track vehicles for training under a deal estimated to be worth between 11 billion zloty, the US $2.9 billion, and 19 billion zloty, the US $5 billion. The potential acquisition would significantly expand Poland's modern tank capacities. 
In the latest additions to its tank fleet, in 2002, the country secured 128 Leopard 2A4 tanks from the German military. In 2013, the Defense Ministry signed a deal to acquire further 119A4 and A5 tanks from Germany. The forthcoming acquisition is to allow Warsaw to replace its outdated Soviet-designed T-72 and PT-91 tanks with a new tracked vehicle platform. Under the plan, the design contract is to include logistics, training, and simulators for Polish troops. The latest development comes shortly after local media broke the story, citing sources close to the deal. The idea that a 40-year-old tank design has a place in modern armies is a relatively new one. For comparison, in 1981, the 40-year-old M4 Sherman medium tank was thoroughly obsolete. The Abrams basic design, however, has remained robust enough to accept new technologies as engineers develop them. The US Army possesses around 6,000 M1s, including 1,500 new generation M1A2s. The service has ordered around 300 M1A2 SEP V3s from General Dynamics GD. Each new tank costs around $6 million. As a tank power, the United States is second only to Russia with its roughly 13,000 T-80s, T-90s, and other types. But Russia's tanks are lighter than America's tanks. A T-90 weighs just 53 tons. That makes it easier to move to and around a battlefield. The SCP V3 was driven more than 2,000 miles in rugged conditions across three seasons of subarctic weather, fired hundreds of rounds for accuracy in extreme cold, and underwent testing of its auxiliary power unit as well as numerous other subsystems, the Army reported. The SCP V3 works in the cold, a prerequisite for winter operations in Eastern Europe, the most likely place where the Army's heavy brigades might deploy for combat against a high tech foe, namely the Russian Army. Compared to the previous Abrams variants, the SCP V3 is by far the most protected. The Israeli trophy system has been incorporated onto the SCP V3, which fires small projectiles that intercept incoming enemy projectiles before they can hit the tank's explosive reactive armor. It's considered one of the best active protection systems in the world. Poland has been readying to purchase a new tracked vehicle platform to replace the country's outdated Soviet-designed T-72 and PT-91 tanks. In 2019, Warsaw declared interest in the European Main Battle Tank Project, an initiative spearheaded by a French-German tandem. But to date, these declarations have not been followed by any binding decision. At the time, when asked about the potential purchase, a spokesperson for the Defense Ministry told Defense News the ministry had identified the necessity to provide Polish armored military units with modern tanks that would comply with the requirements of the modern battlefield, and it was working to define the possibilities of securing these capacities based on the available technical solutions that are proposed to Poland by potential suppliers. The latest version of the M1, the M1A2 SEP V3, adds a remotely operated 50 caliber machine gun, improved protection from remote-controlled roadside bombs, and an ammunition data link that allows the tank crew to issue specialized commands to main gun rounds. The 73.6-ton tank has a crew of four and can go 42 miles on a road and 30 miles per hour cross-country. Here's the problem. The M1A2 SEP V3 is not transportable by current recovery vehicles, tactical bridges, or heavy equipment transporters, according to DOTND. The Army reportedly disagrees with this assessment, but there's no disputing that the M1 is heavy and getting heavier, and that certainly weighs on its mobility before and during battle. The problem is not going away. Indeed, the next version of the M1, the SEP V4, slated to arrive in 2025, adds even more new electronics and could weigh even more than the SEP V3 does. The US Army's 3rd Armored Brigade Combat Team, 1st Cavalry Division, was the first unit to receive M1A2 SEP V3 tanks in 2020, so the tank is brand new. The first Polish tanks will arrive in 2022, before many US Army units will receive the SEP V3. Ultimately, the new Abrams tanks will allow the Polish army to phase out their Soviet-era T-72 tanks as well as Poland's own PT-91, essentially a T-72 modernized with Polish components. There won't come a moment too soon. Poland will in essence be exchanging part of their obsolete tank force for some of the best tanks in existence.